Hymn of the Week, the 5th of March 2021, The Old Rugged Cross. George Bernard lived mainly in various parts of Midwestern USA, with his younger days in Ohio and Iowa, his working and preaching life, Michigan and Wisconsin near the Great Lakes. George was born in Ohio in 1873, the son of George Bernard Sr. and Christina Russell, both of whom had emigrated to the United States from Scotland. The family moved to Iowa, where George's father ran a tavern until it burned down, and then he went to work as a coal miner. He was tragically killed in a mining accident aged 49 when George was 16 years old. This meant that young George, who had wanted to be an, evan an evangelist, had to give up these plans and also work in the mines to support his mother and five sisters. After his conversion aged 24 in a Salvation Army meeting, he and his wife became leaders in the Salvation Army before leaving to join the Methodist Church where George became a minister. Eventually, he was able again to take up his plans to be an evangelist. During one of his meetings as a travelling evangelist, he was ridiculed and heckled by a group of young people. They were especially keen on attacking and mocking what George was saying about the cross. This disrespect not for him, but for the gospel and the Lord, troubled George and triggered a time of doubt and questioning and searching about the meaning of the cross. In 1912, he was living here in an apartment in this house in Albion, Michigan, when, after all his soul-searching and seeking for answers about the cross, he wrote all of the music for the hymn, and the first verse and chorus of the words of the old rugged cross. A heritage marker in Albion says, birthplace of the old rugged cross. The old rugged cross, one of the world's best loved hymns, was composed here in 1912 by the Reverend George Bernard. The son of an Ohio coal miner, Bernard was lifelong servant of God chiefly in the Methodist ministry. He wrote the words and music for over 300 other hymns. None achieved the fame of the old rugged cross, the moving summation of his faith. I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it some day for a crown. Bernard himself describes the experience. I was praying for a full understanding for the cross and its plan in Christianity. I read and studied and prayed. I saw Christ and the cross inseparably. The Christ of the cross became more than a symbol. It was like seeing John 3.16 For God so loved the world he gave his only begotten Son. Leave the printed page, take form and act out on the meaning of redemption. While watching this scene with my mind's eye, the theme of the song came to me and with it, the melody. It would take him a year to complete the whole song. One of the first versions was first sung as a duet in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, during a campaign at the Friends Church there in January 1913. About six months later, on June the 7th, 1913, at the First Methodist Episcopal Church of Pokagon, Michigan, the completed version was performed by a choir of five accompanied on the guitar. The church building there had once been a hops barn. Over the years, especially because of the popularity of the hymn, 
It was refurbished and is now known as the Church of the Old Rugged Cross. George eventually retired to Reed City in Michigan, where a large cross was erected to celebrate his work. The song's popularity spread when it was sung by the well-known baseball player turned evangelist Billy Sunday, who had a Christian radio programmes and led many campaigns. He was also adopted by Billy Graham and his crusades and is said to have been Martin Luther King's favourite hymn. It became so well known that in 1938 it was judged to be the number one hymn in America and it was consistently ranked the number one favourite hymn for several decades. George Bernard, it seems, stood just a little over five feet tall. He was described as a humble man and as common as an old shoe. He agreed with countless other songwriters who gave the Lord credit for what they had written and created. Like them, George Bernard expressed that he also was merely the instrument that God used. The Old Rugged Cross, written by a former miner whose father, born and bred in Scotland, was killed in a mining accident. How strangely appropriate that it would be sung by a group of new covenant miners trapped underground in the Nukshinach disaster and rescue. The Old Rugged Cross
Thank you.